Welcome to Technologies. Today we will see NIC Timing. NIC Timing is normally used in server. So in what condition we will, uh, it will use? We will see right now. Like if the land in the land card is land card is failure, or land card port is failure, or the land cable which is connected to that port, which is in installed in server. If the red byte the cable is damaged, so connection will disconnected so there's some another uh, alternative uh, LAN cable which is connected to another LAN card that cable will be work and our server will uh, will not give you a downtime another uh, issue is happen generally like is cable burn or damage something like that and any incident happen so that time also NIC teaming is useful uh, many organization can see in the server port failure issue so that time NIC teaming is used so before we start NIC Teaming, I just want to give you some update. Like uh, before 2016 server, NIC Teaming used through a third party application which is provided by HP, Dell and Intel. Uh, there is one uh, application which we call is Broadcom Teaming. This uh, application is still available on the internet, you will get uh, downloaded. It's a third party application through Broadcom Teaming. You can you know install this application and configure that uh, Teaming uh, setting. For the server, but right now, uh, in after 2016 server, you will get inbuilt application about teaming. So we don't require to install any third-party application for teaming. And what NIC teaming exactly do is the process of combining multiple network cards together for performance and load balancing and redundancy reasons. So redundancy reason is the main reason uh, as of now I just like to tell you the major benefits of NIC teaming are load balancing, redistribute a traffic over network and failover without the need of multiple physical connections. Essentially NIC teaming is a strategic plan that can increase the uptime. So it is also used for redistribute traffic. You know? So not all the load and all the burden come on only one network. It will distribute to two networks. The traffic will distribute to two networks. So that is the load balancing part. So it is useful for that also. In a simple terms, I like to uh, explain you what is load balancing. So suppose it is in this server. In this server, you can see two LAN cards installed. So and it is connected to switch so what happened some some incident happened and one port is failed suppose this connection is failed but still this connection is connected so this is the use of NIC teaming so how this thing will work we will configure this setting in server so one connection is failure still we have another connection which is connected to server so let's see in a server how we will configure that so now we will see how we will configure NIC teaming in windows server 2022 so let me log in to my server first before uh, before login i just wanted to i just wanted to in the VMB workstation setting uh, we can see over here one network card is installed for teaming we require at least two network card so we will add one network card over here so now there is two network card over here click ok we have to restart our windows server operating system so now we will check there is a two network card over here or not in my server just right click over here click on change adapter so here you can see ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 and one 
Hyper-V virtual switch is over there. So what we have to do? Let's check it out. It's showing any error while installing or not. So first, I will show you the status of each uh, network ID. This is configured as a DHCP. This is also configured as a DHCP server. My switch IP address is 192.0.1.5. So here is a virtual switch over there and two network cards over, over here. So to configure a teaming, just go to the server manager. Take to the full screen mode in local server. You can see the option over here which is NIC teaming and status is disabled. So just click over here to enable the status. You can see the on uh, it's online. Here you can here you can see network adapter. This is your first and this is second one virtual switch is also over there so what i'll do i will click on add to the new team so first you have to click add new team now you have to mention the team name i will say roval underscore teaming This should not be over the over here virtual switch but let me click over here and let's check it showing any error or not uh, which mode we have teaming mode we have to select which balancing mode is required for that for that you can refer this slide so you will get to know which mode we should select we will select lacp mode which is for static teaming and load balance mode we will keep dynamic and we will click on click ok the parameter is incorrect ok so now we have to click cancel over here then we have to close this so before configuring teaming we have to remove virtual switch from hyper-v so you can just right click over here and click on hyper-v manager or you can go to the tools menu from here you can also click over here from tools menu you can click over here hyper-v manager so in the hyper-v manager you can see over here uh, you can see over here that uh, virtual switch management over here so let me first turn off this operating system windows 11 hyper-v which is installed over here now just click on virtual switch management and here our switch is appeared just select that switch and click on remove click on apply yes click on ok close this now go to the local system click on nic teaming again now you can see ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 over here in this teams menu click on task click on new team now i will give the team name which is roval underscore teaming and i will select both the ethernet network adapter here i will say lscp and here i will say dynamic now i click on ok now it will not show any kind of error okay. now it is negotiation we have, we have to wait to turn into be green both are active so now we have successfully configured the teaming so 
let's check it out over here what we can see in our network adapter right now we can change it to options okay you can see over here we can see role teaming over here one the teaming which we configured and we select ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 so what changes we can see over here okay so you can see the check mark is disabled over here in ip version uh, tcp ip ip version 4 and here also it's disabled that means this ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 both are active and they are now connecting to role team so we will mention the IP address to roll teaming the server IP address in TCP IP. What was my server IP address? 192.168.1.5. DNS also same. Now, so. Right now we will check it the teaming is configured successfully or not for that just open windows R CMD here I will uh, ping IP address which is 192.168.1.5 minus e. so the IP address is pinging so let's disable one of ethernet port so i will disable this ethernet zero and let's see any changes we can find out or not see it's showing network cable unplugged and again it is connected and we cannot see any packet loss over here it's continuously replying so what we will do now we will just enable this one and we will disable this one and let's see we can we can find any packet drop or packet loss no so right now this uh, teaming is successfully configured it is connected to ethernet 0 now what we will do we disable both ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 it will be disconnected see you can see the teaming connection is gone and you can see over here that it's failure it's not pinging it's gender failure so it's not pinging so let's enable both of them so we can get back the connection now wait for a few seconds see it is connected so this is how you can successfully configure the teaming in Windows Server 2022. So now you can see Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1 over here. So we will just create a new team. I will give the name as Wall. Teaming is a teaming name. Here I will select both network adapter. Here I will select LSCP. If as dynamic, click OK. So now it's configuring. You have to wait it turn into the green. So it's OK showing. So now our teaming is successfully configured. So let's move to the network. network adapter so in the network adapter you can see that teaming is configured you can see my domain name is over here so let's ping in google so it's pinging right now. So what I will do? I will disable this one, Ethernet zero. Still it is pinging. So means right now our connection is you know traffic passing through this network. 
you can see there is a general failure you can see that tree drops over here so what i'll do right now i will enable this thing and see one general failure you can see over there and again i will disable this ethernet one and let's see configure see after three failure it's again connected so we don't need to do anything if it is failed for some reason it will automatically pass to the another port the traffic should be passed to the another port so what happened if i disable both it's showing general failure i will enable now both and let's see network cable establishing connection establishing it's configuring to my domain name or old.com is my domain name so it is connected and google is pinging so this is how you can, can configure teaming in windows 2022 and uh, you can check through thank you in and please subscribe to my channel it's motivate to me to create a more video for you so please 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 subscribe